going everyone welcome back to the channel uh, another video from the comfort of my living room and this nice uh, winter weather so this is another power turn dash video so today I'm going to show you the real tricks involved into making your own custom dashes and I'm sure once I show you so many of you guys will be like damn is that it <laughs> like it's actually it's it's actually quite easy once you get used to it the more I do the faster I'm getting at them and they say my Photoshop skills are a little lackluster I'm sure there's a lot more talented guys out there that are going to smash out some amazing layouts once they've sort of, I guess, figured out these little bits and pieces that I've nuffed through myself to work out. But um, anyway, this video itself and the AE86 and A70 dash uh, that I designed has been actually sponsored by Powertune themselves. So these guys are like really keen to get behind you guys modifying and making your own layouts. Of course they make their own and they will continue to make their own but they want to see the creativity from you guys, what you can do. Like this is the only platform that I know of that they've left completely unlocked. You know, we need to take advantage of this and just have fun with it. So I'll show you a few tricks today and say, I'm sure once I show you that like the little bits and pieces that I've learned, you guys will be like, damn, that's it. And you'll be start mashing out your own ones. So. When you do, tag me in them. I want to see them. I want to see some cool layouts. But yeah, the A70 dash, the AE86 dash, and these video series sponsored by Powertune Digital, they will be free downloads available in the link below. So this is the A70 Mercury Supra inspired uh, digital dash. Now, I have a spare dash set on my desk for saving myself time. When I made this, uh, I didn't have this on the desk. I did this entirely with going between here and my garage and doing it on the actual dash itself. Um, so it can be done entirely on the dash. It's just faster like this. So, first things first, what do you want to do? So, found the dash that I wanted, tried to get some images that were sort of front on off Google and I went into Photoshop and I traced them and then manipulated them into something that would fit within the screen size. Um, to get the exact screen size I just cheated, I just um, copied one of the existing ones off the Powertune dash and um, used that as a beginning template. So, the main thing that people wanted to know how to do was to do the custom bar gauges. The answer is it's really actually quite simple. Draw your dash, get it all done, and then you use it as a mask. So you put the bar gauges behind here. So what I'll do is you select your uh, layers for these and um, then you delete them from the background and you should end up with that. Now that is a mask that you can throw over the top of the bar gauges so that you can have it you know travel up and down like that but all you see is the green or whatever color you've selected behind. Now there is a little more, bit more to, to it than just that, like there's a lot of layering to get it right, but this is just the basic, ah, that's how it's done. Once you've got all your images, well you draw what you want, you've got all your images, so this is all my files I've got here. Um, so for the temperature gauge, I've decided to use state images. So that's a single bar that keeps on popping up and down rather than um, like the boost in the oil pressure where it goes up and down like like the rev counter. Mm. That's just a single stepping bar because one, that's how it is done factory. Two, it's actually a lot easier to calibrate for something like uh, water temperature. So I set them up as a state image like 50 degrees. It's the This picture appears and... 30 degrees it's this one and 80 degrees it's this one you know I can have actually control over where the bar sits on the temp gauge a lot easier using a state image 
So yeah, once you've got all your pictures, um, you want to go to logo and copy them all across. They're already there on mine, obviously. So once you've got all your pictures across, you then go back into your dash now. So we're starting off with a completed dash here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear that. And then I'm going to start building up the layers of this dash. So first things first, I'm going to... Now there's two ways you can do it. You can add a background. Try and get the camera to focus. And you can select a file to choose as a background. But what I prefer to do... And take that background away. Close. What I prefer to do is just add an image. So I've got a template made up already. Uh, A70 background, which is just outlines to show me where to put the gauges so that later on when I put the mask over the top it will all make sense. So I'm just going to position this uh, where I want it. Right about, right about there. So the reason I've done it this way rather than using background as well is when I go into the text files I can just copy paste this location and I know everything I'm doing will be in the right spot. So we've got our image there to give us a guide of where to put our gauges. So I'm going to add, trying to get my camera to focus on the screen, I'm going to add square. Um, which is average fuel economy, whatever. Uh, demonstration purpose, it will work. So double click on it and we're going to want to toggle horizontal bar, sorry toggle vertical bar because that's the one we want and then we're going to want to adjust the size of it so change gauge size now I already know the size I want because I've already made this dash before and that will make that bar gauge the right size to fill the spot there so we'll then pop that there go to colors make everything transparent and now all we're left with is the actual bar gauge now we will start doing the temperature gauge so I've done this as stacked state images so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add state image and go into my files just so I can see it it's always best to have a pick off Otherwise, you might struggle to find it. So, where are we? A70 temp 1. And this is going to be uh, ECT, is what we're after. And trigger for that um, 30 degrees or whatever. So, I'm going to size that to, so we've got bar gauge, bar gauge, this is the first of temp gauges, and we're just going to hit save, and we're going to hit export, and now we're going to do some work on the computer. So what we're looking for here is dash to export, it could be dash 1, dash 2, dash 3, it depends on what dash you've used, but in this instance it's dash 2, so we're going to copy that the computer and then now I like to if I modify it directly here I might be dumb maybe but I can't select save as uh, which I prefer to save as so that I don't mess up my original file so oops cancel leave that there I like to go into the actual 
computer file here, which dash to export, which is down there. Open that up. Right, so this is our text files. So it's just the layers are in order. So this is the bottom layer, which is our background, which I put in just so that I know where everything goes, right? Um, so that is going to be what it is, so it's a gauge image, and then that is its location, uh, that is its size, and that is the file, where to find it. So then the next thing down is we've got the bar gauges that I made, so square gauge size for 80 by 240, um, fuel economy, whatever, that was just happened to be what I selected. Um, so what I'm going to do is rather than re repeating a whole pile of processes through the dash, I'm going to do it here. So number one example is going to be that state gauge. So that's going to be for the temperature gauge. You saw I add one, two things, I didn't make it the right size and I didn't put it in the right place. So what I'm going to do is that's location and that's size. So I'm going to copy that from the background. And I'm going to paste it there. So that means now that temp bar gauge that I put in, the state image, is going to be in the correct location. The other thing is as well, is I want to do that a number of times. So I'm just going to copy that file, that uh, text, sorry. And paste it. A number of times so they're all the same location they're all the same size they're all a state gif a uh, state image um, so what I'm going to need to modify on each individual one is remember I set the degrees at 30 so the next step we might make 40 the next step we might make 50 um, so what have we got this is how your text will read for a state gauge. So this is the off file. Remember I set it to temp1 because I wanted something visible so that I could move it around. But for the rest of these we don't want it visible until it wants to appear. So instead of having that I'm going to write none. I wish I did that before I copy pasted everything, but anyway. And then we're going to change the file, because I've made all the files, I know what they're called. So next one's going to be temp2, temp3, 4, I'm sure you're getting the idea by now. So rather than doing it individually one at a time on the dash screen, I can say modify the text images and do it all here. So we're pretty good now to get this background. So I'm just going to once again copy this. I'm going to paste this here. And I'm going to change this from the background now to my foreground. So what I'll quickly do is I'll quickly check the, the name and the location of the one I want to use. So logo and it is, this is what I'm going to use, uh, Kilomotus Case Brow and Boost is what I want for my foreground. So I'm going to left click on that, file names, copy including paths, that's copied. So now I'm set up background here, I'm going to paste that location that I just copied and take away that first slash too because it always saves that. Yep, so now it's got the um, the final mask over the top of everything else so that I've got everything laid correctly and I technically don't need that anymore either I can delete that if I want to or leave it it doesn't matter because you won't see it but yeah so now I've got all of this stuff underneath the final mask and we can send that now well we can file we can save that as test 555, so I know what it is, save, and I will go back into 
Use the dashboards. Send test 555 over. Coming back to the dash now. So we will clear what we've been working on. That can all bugger off. It's done its purpose. Import. So I'm trying to get this to focus now. Import. Um, what did I say it is? Dash 555 or something. There we go. So now we have our main mask over the top of everything we have created and that is the basics of how to do all your custom stuff so now that I've shown you how to do it all on the computer with that dash by my computer I'll show you it all operational now on the dashboard in my car with the car running so that's the Mark III Super 1 there first A86 you can see what I've done with this one at each thousand RPM point I've done a state image to light up orange and I've also made a secondary dash where it overlays over the top in red as a shift light well that's it that's all my custom dashboards uh, you can either just download them from the link below use them yourself or use those as a starting point to modify yourself because I know like say things like the rev limit won't suit everybody you might want to change that so use what you've learned here pop into the text file find the number change it from 7,000 to 6,000 or 8,000 if you're a mad boy and um, go from there and adjust each thing as you go or just use this as a guide to make your own uh, but anyway thanks very much for watching guys I appreciate it and um, I will catch you in the next one